Okay, and welcome back to some more Sudeki. What's the TV volume at, actually? Reasonable. We are going to move on with the story. Although, first, I want to address something. I actually... I actually missed one of the cat totems with her. It was on the road to Shandy Mo. And, uh, we've probably gone past it several times. However, it's not that much of a big deal because we'll be getting her final... We'll be getting what's supposed to be her final cat token. And even if we did have the Shandy Mo one, we'd have to backtrack to get... To uh, put them all in the one thingy to get her ultimate weapon anyways. Hmm. So... It was like, even if I had done things optimally, I would still have to backtrack, so it's not the worst thing. Mm-hmm. Any of you guys have anything? All of the talk in the courtroom is of the crystal machine. What will the machine actually do? It will create a shield of pure magic that will keep invaders at bay. Isn't that good to know? I'll go stop playing with your guns. Do you think the crystals will do the job? Of course they will work. They have to. Just want to talk to some people before I get moving on with the story. Hello. You have returned with the crystal? Installation can commence as soon as you wish, Alco. But I am sure you must be tired from your journey. So why not take some time out for yourselves before we start the work? Tell me when you're ready to get back to the grindstone. All of the talk in the courtroom. Uh, I didn't mean to talk to you again. There was one other person that was walking around here that I'm trying to find. Oh, you. The crystal machine is to use all transentine technology. What do you know about tr Transentia has the finest research facilities outside of Illumina. Lucica has invested heavily into the area. Do you think the towers will work? Oh yes. With transentine technology, Illumina's crystal towers will protect the land for years to come. Goodbye. Hello, you have returned with the crystal? Install. Are you ready to begin crystal installation? Yes. We got all that experience. Well, Tal, the sun is setting and I better get back to work. There's much work to be done. Okay. I'm going to lay low for a while in my room. I'm trying to avoid my father. He was acting such an idiot before I left. Arlo is a very difficult man, but don't be too hard on him. Blood is thicker than water. Ew. Huh? What are you doing here? I came to talk. May I come in? Look. I think you said all you needed to last time we spoke. I haven't come here to argue. Come in. When was this painted? A few years back. It was my 14th birthday. Remember when... when... I was away, I suppose. Seems a lifetime ago now. It is. Look... Did we were an anime? If this is another chance for you to blame his death on me, I'm not interested. I mean, take a good look at that picture. Do you notice anyone missing? Me. That's right, you. And you know what? You were missing the day he died, too. The day your 14-year-old son failed to save him. Well, maybe you were right. Maybe I did fail. But at least I was there. Father. I know. When you didn't return from Shadani Mo, I thought... I thought that I had lost another son. The truth is... I'm angry at myself, and just like the bastard I am, I tried to blame you. 
And that's what I came to say. I did what I have always done. Looked for someone to blame. That's how I drove away your mother. But I don't want to drive you away, too. Tal, I've not been much of a father. But I don't want to lose you. Wait. Let's have a drink, Dad. The wine just goes through the cup. I know! <laughs> <laughs> That was a surprisingly touching scene. Yeah. <laughs> the Queen is very cross with you for leaving the castle. You're to report to the Queen's courtroom first thing this morning and explain your actions, miss. Your quest. I'm just kind of waiting for you to be done slurping your cereal. <laughs> Good thing you were doing most of that during cutscenes when I uh, cut out a lot of our audio. Yeah. <laughs> slurp a slurp him. Motherfucker. Good to see you again. Good to see your ass again. <laughs> uh. Well, you see, Mother, it's very simple. There's this cute guy and stop. <laughs> Smack that door. <laughs> Smack that door. Palace corridors. You haven't been going around smacking your ass, have you? No. Barely. Yes. <laughs> Barely not. <laughs> I just tease people with the temptation of doing so. <laughs> oh, experience. A word of advice, Tal. I believe Ailish followed you to the Shidani Temple. Dal and myself were very mindful of her position. Good. With this machine, I intend to rule Illumina for many years to come. But the princess is my daughter and must be protected from her childish desires. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. Perfectly. Your progress report, Elko. Ma'am, the Sedani crystal is in place, and the second tower is now fully operational. Excellent. I want all four towers up and running as soon as possible. And for that, we require two more crystals. We received information that another large crystal shard has been discovered in Transentia. Transentia? Yes. A trip home for you, Elko, but don't waste time sightseeing. Talent I will collect the Transentine Crystal first thing in the morning. There shouldn't be any problems. I am well known at the university. Elko has informed me that you followed him to Shadani Mo. Yes. I thought I might return the courtesy Buki paid upon us by visiting our castle. No member of the royal family has ever visited Shadani Mo before. You left the castle without my permission and with no regard for your own security? Look, I'm fine. I'm not a child anymore. You are irresponsible. When are you going to prove that you are worth your keep, Ailish? Like a pew-pew stuff. I don't know how to prove my worth to you. Nothing is ever good enough. Oh, watch your tongue. I have more important things to deal with than your errant behavior. Get out of my sight and take that animal with you. You have jewelry textured onto your body. <laughs> She is really angry. Why does she not trust you? Oh, she's just overprotective, I suppose. I need to prove to her that I can look after myself. Why would you keep a bird and not allow it to fly? She should be proud of the way you helped bring our crystal home. I promised Elko I wouldn't tell her any details in case he got into more trouble. Maybe you were right, though. She might look at me more sympathetically if I were to give her what she wants. 
How would you feel about helping me get that crystal from Transentia? You want to travel with Tal and Elko? I can't see Elko agreeing to that. If we were to get there first, however... We? You want me to come? No one from my tribe has ever gone that far north. Well, all the more reason to go. Come on, Buki. I could do with your help. Mother will soon forget how angry she is when her prodigal daughter returns with another crystal. I suppose since I've already given the Shadani crystal over to Elko's machine, I may as well help get another one. I will do this for you, my friend. The gods have brought us together, and nothing can change that. It seems our stars are crossed, Princess. If we are to get to Transentia first, we will need to leave the castle and head to the mountains in the north. Okay, but first I'm going back and yeah. I saw a treasure chest in that cutscene that I didn't get. Really? 25 florins? <laughs> Those wretched builders working on the towers have made such a mess on the balconies. You should have a look for yourself. Here, use my key. I don't think I'll be getting up there again in my best clothes. Balcony key. Wow. I've never received that before. I didn't even know there was a balcony. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, once I have access to Elko, he can do stuff here. Hmm. That means I'm going to have to do some backtracking. I should have come in here with the characters and talked to that guy before... Ah, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I'll just keep that in the back of my mind next time. Now it's time for the ladies. <laughs> Girls just want to have fun. <laughs> oh my, I mean, I'll wait, what? <laughs> I'll I can't afford to buy it. I can just say it's the same thing. I'm just going to talk to everyone, make sure no new side quests have opened up. Oh, please let me go. Where are you Ow! This isn't annoying. If you pick on the wrong enemy once, learn from your mistakes. With more experience, anything is possible. Okay, Carlos. <laughs> Do 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 you. <laughs> Not you again. Have you ever traveled no Yeah, I'm going that way now. What about you, little girl? Have you ever seen the Queen's Garden? We are safe in Okay. Good to see you again. Go away again! <laughs> Not you! Try to talk to... You! I have cleaned up my... Okay. Nice saying, Armor. In the Illumina Guard, we're trying to be crack shots. Crack that shot. <laughs> crack that shot. Seriously, nice saying, Armor. <laughs> What you saying? <laughs> hey, you. Okay, now let me in my room after your sword goes through my body. <laughs> A 
Ailish, I have heard about you following Elko all around the country, and I must say I'm none too pleased with you. You Okay, she's still the same thing. Elko and Tal are off to Transentia very soon, I hear. Oh, please do not tell me you are going to follow them. No. Really, don't tell me. Oh, we're not following them. We're going there before they get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally different. Smack that door. Smack. <laughs> the palm of destruction. You need a keen eye to survive here. The more you look around, the more you'll find. I think I got most of everything. Yeah, well, let me talk to you. Okay, well. You're still acting like an asshole up out here. Yeah. <laughs> Though, that's uh, probably because he still has to be the drill sergeant. Yeah. It's like having tender moments with your son is all well and good, but. When, when you're out in the battlefield with the rest of your men, you still have to be the hard ass. <laughs> the life of a general. Illumina! Oh, uh, okay. Okay! Run along. I've more important things to think about than the likes of you. Like Illumina! Yes. <laughs> That guy has a random Scottish accent out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> then again, uh, someone once described someone described Elko's accent as it's a Dutch man trying to do a German accent, but he just gradually becomes more Dutch as the game goes on. <laughs> In other words, the actor keeps the actor keeps dropping the accent. <laughs> All right, I guess it's up to Princess Pew Pew. <laughs> Princess Pew Pew. Jeez! Jeez! The, these damn gates. All right, men, I want you to open that gate and slam it down as hard as you possibly can! Can do, sir! <laughs> I don't even think they're slamming it down. I think whoever's hoisting it up is literally just letting go. Just letting it go. Like, all right, now let me carefully... Ah, fuck it! <laughs> Maybe that's just how they're trained. Keeps the enemy out. I just want a quiet life. Go okay. It's like, General, you've come to my court. What is it? Yes, ma'am. I, I... Yes, Your Majesty. I have to tell you something important. We've seen severe... Long live the... Severe damage to the gates. Hmm, why do you think that is? I have an idea. <laughs> the Bright Empire stretches from Transentia in the north all the way down to Shadanimo in the south. I'm proud of this beautiful land we protect. You lazy gods! You're letting the gates slam! <laughs> well, we're trying not to let the Eclorians or other monsters get in. There's no one here! <laughs> Yes, because we keep them out. <laughs> we slam those gates as- Well, it seems the invaders have been repelled for now. Thank goodness for the armed for- We slam those gates as hard as possible, sir! This is the only safe place to- And schnip. Princess Pew Pew and Bookie too. And <laughs> Bookie <laughs> too. King's Road. King's Road. Are we gonna have any pew pews? <laughs> pew pews! Oh, pew pews! Where I. What the? I'm gonna look at this as a blessing in disguise for one reason. Because now I can come in here with Alco, get that balcony key. There's rich. What in 
the heavens is this? Yeah, it's a blessing, as long as it doesn't happen again. Oh, I'm gonna make safety saves from now on. But I have no idea why the game just... It just stopped. I think technically that would be considered a game crash. Yeah. I have literally never done this before, so I am intrigued. Oh my, what's this? What in the heavens is this? Orb of Might. Orb of Might. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay, so that's where the other door leads. No, 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 I wanna... <laughs> Oh, I have to climb from this side. That's not intuitive. Oh, well, it makes sense. The other side doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> no, it's just the way the ladder was placed. Oh, okay. Shadow stone. Low strike. Shadow stone. That's something only Ailish can do, but she would have to come through the other door. And that's something only Ailish can do. But again, she'd have to come through the other door, which is currently locked. And it's not like they let me change characters. It's not like they let me come in here with all my characters. Or change characters. So. I'm going to have to figure out a way to unlock the other door. Yeah, because that door's locked. I didn't see you. Looks good. Yes, 500 florins does look good. But, you know, the key he gave me only goes to this door, specifically. I'll need a key for the other door. Ah, there's a chest here. What have we here? Woohoo! That's a thousand florins complete. Oh, no wonder I'm at... She's it's not even lit. Like, that is tucked away in the dark there. <laughs> um... Huh. Well, even if I did come up here with the rocket pack, there's nothing to use it on. That wall needs to be dispelled by Ailish. That's a treasure chest that Ailish needs to dispel. Yeah, everything up here requires Ailish, but I don't even know how to get Ailish up here because she can't rocket pack her way to this ladder. She would need to come up through that door, and I've never gotten that door unlocked. I didn't even know you could unlock it. Apparently there is a way. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, they, there'd have to be. Is anyone else in here? Good day. I hope all is well with you. That's a weird voice. That's have. a weird voice. There seems to be no end in sight to the invaders and monsters that stalk our land. One should not disagree with the Queen openly, but I don't see what difference the towers are actually making to our daily lives. Hmm. The Eclorians behave str very strangely, don't they? Eclorius sends a lot of troops, but they're unorganized. If the boot were on the other foot, Illumina would have brought them to their knees by now. We should turn the tables and invade!
Uh... Good day. What's on your mind today? What do you know about Transcendia? Transcendia? <laughs> That's where all our money goes. Lucica subsidizes the work done at the university with our taxes. I suppose she must be getting something out of it. How do you... Oh, well, there's a road that leads north through the mountains. I don't travel in the wilds myself. It's far too dangerous. My duties as a queen are demanding. I look forward to getting away from the courtroom and tending my garden. Do you have an interest in flowers? Have you seen my garden? I love the roses, delicate and beautiful, yet they carry razor-sharp thorns. I like to think that is how I rule this land. Is it difficult staying in power? I have ways of enforcing order. Perhaps one day you will meet Lord Delos in person. Goodbye. She scares me. <laughs> Adieu. All right, let's, uh... I might be able to mash my way through in-game cutscenes. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, I can actually, I can skip through this cutscene, but I can't skip through the Arlo one. What? <laughs> like if she just walks through him. <laughs> I think the scripting got messed up. <laughs> that was funny. She is. You wait. Yeah, there must be a way to unlock this door. Good day. Porkin Bintz is the name, and being a member of the royal court is my game. Oh, is it? What do you mean by your game? Uh, being a member of the royal court is all about, um... Attending functions, getting a manor house, drawing a state-funded pension, and agreeing with the Queen. I was born to do it. And agreeing with the Queen. Court life is very lavish, eh? Despite the wealth we enjoy at court, there are sections of our society that are not so well off. The Shadani tribe, for example, lives on desert sand and hope. Goodbye. Hello. My duties as a queen... Nothing new to say to your daughter. <laughs> Smack! Yeah, I need Elko to fly over there, but as soon as... As soon as he gets over there, and I climb the ladder, then there's a bunch of stuff that only Ailish can do, but she can't do it from here... So, ah, uh, what the heck? So the only way to get to that ladder with Ailish is to go through that door, but that door is locked. And I thought maybe Elko could like unlock it from the other side, but that doesn't work. It still says it was locked. Hmm. So there must be a key for that other. Uh, uh. Uh. Scrap. 
How dare you address me in such a manner? How dare you address me in such a manner? <laughs> Better watch your manner manners. <laughs> Welcome to my manner manner. The Queen is obsessed with finishing off the towers, but I'm beginning to worry that they are generating too much power already. Any small accident and, whoops, meltdown. <laughs> oh, you don't appear on the map. Okay, can we just look at that for a second? It's like, it's okay everyone, I'm sure that this is super safe. We've got a wind up <laughs> system in place for this massive <laughs> energy. <laughs> It's okay, we gotta wind up. <laughs> what? <laughs> this looks like something out of Final Fantasy. I love how, like, up there is, like, the most technologically advanced, like, laser energy system, and then down there <laughs> we've got <laughs> these turkey wind up systems. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> Keep them wound up, everyone! <laughs> Diegetic in world ways. Of, uh, oh, pew pew time! You know what I think? I think uh, this game was trying to load this battle, and then, like, for some reason, the battle just didn't load. Oh, properly. yeah! It did happen around here, didn't it? Yeah, it happened exactly where that battle was. I was expecting a battle, and then just... You, you got to crash instead. Crash Bandicoot! You will burn in the Inferno! I've heard of Battle Clash, but I've never heard of Battle Crash. <laughs> battle Crash doesn't require a super scope. It just requires, uh, wasting your time. Fiends, leave this world. That looks like it would hurt. That's because it does. Pew pew! It's like, it's funny when... I mean, technically she does have, like, her specials where... Or whatever they're called. Whereas, like, she does this, you know, motion or she might say something. But, like, it's funny when you compare this to, like, other... Especially certain anime where they're casting spells. It's like, oh, holy maiden, I require... This... Pew, 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 pew! <laughs> I mean, to be fair, at least... With, with the shooting characters, it's kind of like... They mostly have their skill strikes, and they can change weapons on a whim because each wep because each weapon is supposed to be useful in its own right. Mm -hmm. Each weapon has its own completely distinct utility, whereas with melee characters, that's not the case. Yeah. Get away! Get away! Like, see, this is basically a rocket launcher as a staff. A <laughs> rocket launcher as a staff. You dang spinny scarecrows! Let's light them up! You will burn! I always think of those silly Cartoon Network Super Friends um, commercials, or whatever they were, um, when they have, have like funny things going. Hey, Pookie, where are you going? Uh, when they have funny things about like the Legion of Doom, their Super Friends. It's like, come on, everyone, get. We're super strong. Cheetah, you have razor sharp claws. M Brainiac, your mind waves are deadly. Scarecrow, you you're made of straw. <laughs> <laughs> You're just reminding me of, um, 
You just you're just reminding me of uh, that one freakazoid episode. Yeah. They called me insane. <laughs> Wendell. <laughs> oh, actually, I I saw a um. I saw a uh, pizza tower with lyrics thing that I think referenced that. <laughs> <laughs> they called me insane! Papino! <laughs> <laughs> but finally, I have baked the fourth wall! <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's from... Uh, his channel name is... Re as basically it's spelled like wrecked uh, r e c d but i think it stands for like recorder dude recorder dude or something of uh, something along those lines faran country i think i'll play as bookie bookie Pookie booty. Oh, hey, look. The cart that was conveniently blocking us before is not there now. Whoa. How? Oh, come on! What the? What a- Oh my gosh, he's such an ass! Okay, that's it. Pew, pew, pew! Let's see how you teleport when you're frozen! I'll freeze the hearts of those who fight against me. Oh, wait, that just killed him. <laughs> well, either way, he's dead, so... <laughs> Out of my hair. <laughs> All right. I'll... This is as far north as anyone from my tribe has ever traveled. It is further than I have been without a guard, too. We are bound to each other now. I will be your guard. Oh, yeah, sometimes they talk when on the road like that. Hmm. Kind of makes me think of, like, the after battle... Uh, after battle dialogue that they'll sometimes have in Xenoblade, except yeah. it happens while traveling the road. I want to be honest, this game's map design gives me very Final Fantasy X and thirteen vibes. Huh. As in, it is very linear. Yeah. With only a few, like, off-the-beaten-paths to go. However, I feel like this game kind of gets away... Despite your title, Princess, you're not as meek as many human women. Well, I guess I am learning from you, Pookie, but I'm no Shadani warrior yet. <laughs> I think this game gets away with it more because it's its own IP and not... You know what I mean? Yeah. Final Fantasy was an established IP, so many people have certain expectations when going into it. Whoa! Holy shit! This guy, uh, these guys, uh, this thing, doesn't mess around. I can actually change, uh, my weapons by doing that. Alright, I've changed to something that can poison him to get rid of his frickin' And then change back. I do not want you constantly healing. Ow, ow, ow. Alright. The great eagle watches over the Oh gosh. You 
can't resist my healing kiss. And then let's speed this up. Always one step ahead. I'm invincible while I'm doing this, which is good because he really wants to hit you with that. <laughs> I don't know what I just saw, but okay. <laughs> I'm just glad it didn't crash. <laughs> uh, it always does that when she comes out of that move. Who wants to play some blaze ball? You Whoa! Mm. I mean, shit, man. That's his stomach blood back there. Chunky. <laughs> Doesn't even make much sense. It was one clean chunk. <laughs> so... So, I mean, I, I kind of sent you, I think I sent you a link or told you about this, that they that they might be remaking House of the Dead 2. Uh-huh. Which I'm like, oh, are they going to redo the voice acting? Because I don't know if I want that. <laughs> that was part of the charm. <laughs> this will be the final battle. Uh, I'm sorry, what? The final battle. I have taken care of G. <laughs> Scribe skin. Go and stop. Go and stop the disturbance in the city. <laughs> empty box. This was brought to you by Empty Box. <laughs> I am a trader to the people of Illumina and beyond. You are welcome to look over my stock. I'd like to trade. Plenty of bargains to be had here. Ooh. The scribe skin I got is uh, worth a lot. Are you the one that trades gems for a higher price? I don't know if I'll be needing that for a quest later. These are easy enough to get back even if I do need them for a quest later. Yeah, just rip them off as Xbox controllers. <laughs> no, that's not a... I mean, you're not wrong. But... Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Plug your buck! Healing tentacle. Eh, I'd rather save my florins for weapon runes. Gee, now all of a sudden it doesn't want to crash on us. Yeah, I don't know why that one battle made it crash. Gotta use Ailish so that she can push that. A jolly candy like button. That is only half of the bridge. There must be another switch somewhere. Then we can play multiplayer. Online. Or local. This looks like a job for bookies. Booty? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a thing for Alco. Uh, I 
Uh, Buki can't climb the chain link fence with her claws. Looks like they really tried to make sure that the hands lined up with the ladder rungs, although sometimes they don't always. Yeah, that's pretty good. And roll. Oh, right. It, the, the thing's right here. Camera. One of her cat totems should be somewhere around here involving this. Oh, yeah. That's to open the bridge. And then... Yep, I, I, I tried to push right, but I guess I pushed a bit too down. This looks like the kind of stuff that the Xenoblade characters would just climb. Yeah. <laughs> I also find it funny that she doesn't even try to, like, use her feet at all. Yeah. <laughs> they just dangle. They dangle. Then again, in Xenoblade, whenever an Oppon climbs, their feet will just dangle. Can't carry any more of that. Shadows! <laughs> Eden Coral. I didn't even see what that was. Bright Water Pearl! Open! Praise to the gods. Cat Totem. Even if I had already gotten that other Cat Totem that I had missed, I would still need to go back in order to turn it in. Hmm. So... It's really not that big of a loss that I didn't get it when I could have gotten it. Like I said, I would still have to backtrack anyways. Mm -hmm. Now allow me to use this... this vegetation to climb by shoving these claws into solid stone. I know! It's like, where is, why do I look for these? But like, by all accounts, you could just be shoving those claws anywhere. Yeah. I mean, I'd allow Pookie to shove her claws. I mean, um... <laughs> Spooky baby. <laughs> <laughs> and seriously, even though I'm supposed to be going to Transcentia, nothing in the game right now stops me from going anywhere I want to go. Stop it! Go, butterfly! Whoops. Thanks for the explosions, princess. Modern-ish looking street lamps. <laughs> That's true. That's how you know we're getting to a more technologically advanced <laughs> place. Ah. 
I'm taking over the pew pewing. One reason why I always end up giving them their weapons the uh, runes for getting back SP and HP is just to make my characters a bit more self-sufficient without having to rely as much on potions. It especially allows me to use skill strikes a lot more often. I can't even take the portal because that would take me past where I'm trying to go. Oh, come on! <laughs> because Ailish has a skill that heals, I don't really bother too much with putting HP recovery things on her weapons, though. Mm -hmm. I just try to give her as much SP recovery as she can get. Right. Hey, look, more shadow stones. Woo! A reason why I don't fret about selling those. Hey, look, another shadow stone. <laughs> The funny thing is, is that I could put on their weapons more attack power, which would then make me, which would then make me, uh, kill things faster, and if I kill things faster, then I won't have to use up, I won't have to take as long killing things, and thus I potentially won't lose as much health, but at the same time, though, uh, Yeah. But in case any mistakes are made. Ah, okay, there. Over there by that waterfall. That's where the cat token that I missed is. Hmm. And the place to turn in cat tokens is past that point. So, yeah. I would have to backtrack. Like I said, I'd have to backtrack anyways. Can't block skill strikes. Tread your flesh and tear your very soul asunder. Ow. That one move is a bit too slow. Okay. At least I don't recall actually getting this. Unless I did several episodes ago and my memory's just on it. <laughs> well, we'll see. Either, like I said, either way I'd have to. No, I didn't get it. Ark of the Covenant chest! Open! Cat totem. Like I said, either way, I would have to come back this way anyways. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of ways of saying way. <laughs> Buki is on her way.
Yeah. The place to turn in the uh, totems is right here. You have two totems to offer. Received an orb. Orb of power. Quest complete. The ultimate weapon of strength has been added to your inventory. Cool. leveled up. Um, oh, that's right. Then. I remember seeing that. Let's see. Skill or essence. I'll go with skill for right now. Her her special attacks are really hitting home. That is Buki's ultimate weapon. Ooh. These extremely powerful claws are capable of causing critical hits on almost every other blow. Excuse me. <laughs> Named after their creator, the famous sculptor... You want to try? Stay... Skin? Or stay... Skin? I, I don't know. <laughs> Who worked in the Shidani Temple? These jet black claws are his finest work. Many claim the many claim the claw's sharpness is really due to the sculptor's soul, which remained in the weapons even after his death. Cool story, bro. I gotta get these claws upgraded before I actually start using them. <laughs> hmm. Should I continue into Shidani to do that? Maybe I will. I'm not talking to you freaky rabbit people. Uh, I always forget how much I hate them. And then you talk to them and I'm like, oh yeah, I hate you. <laughs> Didn't you say something once like, I have to go look at pictures of Carrot now to wash this out uh, of my Yeah. <laughs> well, just be glad the minks don't look anything like the Shidani people. Well... Then again, you have Shidani people like Buki. Why can't more Shidani people look like Buki? Yeah. <laughs> Go you. Bless you. <laughs> Jeez. Game crashes once, and now I'm making safety saves at every save point. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, with multiple sl save slots, it's not like it's a big concern. Alright. 20% of uh, damage will be given back as HP. And... I... Eventually, there's a circle slot upgrade that gives that gives weapons SP back as well, but I don't have that right now. Mm -hmm. Should I up the critical hit rate to 50, or should I up the actual strength? Hmm. The weapon is supposed... This weapon is supposed to excel at critical hits. Huh. That's supposed to be its, like primary function or feature. If I if I up the critical hit rate, then like almost every hit will be a critical. Yeah. Sure, I'll up the crit rate instead of its raw strength. 
uh, anti-venom, anti-evil. I'll give her slow immunity. And... Oh, don't have Florence for that. You don't have enough Florence! Let's see. This is the explodey wand. I'll give the explodey wand more... more explodey power. I mean... This is basically what Ailish pulls out when she wants to do a lot of damage. Yeah. And it only gets two shots before it has to recharge. <laughs> okay, so now I can either go through the temple to access the warp, or I could just walk back the way I came. <laughs> I guess I'll just walk back the way I came. Gives me a chance to use my new claws. Show off those claws. The one thing is, though, is that Buki is probably the character that... Where getting her ultimate weapon is the least useful because Tal, the game almost wants to obfuscate this fact, but Tal really is the main character. He gets more boss fights than any other character, like mm -hmm. more solo. Bo Hello, I, Vulture. I don't think I've ever noticed you over there before. <laughs> There's one flying too. I just saw him out of the corner of my eye. I was like, okay. Scavenger. Reminds me of the uh, vulture guy we saw at the Shadow World. <laughs> Did I tell you I, f I saw some vultures at Aldi once? No, I don't think you did. So yeah, I was parking in the back lot of Aldi when I see these two vultures just hanging out in the dumpster at the back of Aldi. Just chowing down in the in the dumpster. <laughs> like what the fuck? The weirdest thing. Kinda wish I had these claws when I was doing the Trials of Mo, but oh wait, Trials of Mo is how I get one of the cat totems required for these claws. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wish I had these claws when I was fighting the spider boss, or that other boss that you can fight with the whole party, but oh wait, I have to do that before I can even, I have to do all that before I can even get most of the cat totems. <laughs> Ailish will have her ultimate weapon before before she even fights her solo boss fight. And it might be possible to get Elko's ultimate weapon before... I'm not 100%... I, I'm not 100% sure if it's possible to get Elko's weapon or not. Because one of, one of the side quests that gives us a dragon totem, which is used for getting Elko's ultimate weapon requires us to go into the next dungeon and I don't know if they're going to pull a uh, Temple of Mo situation where once we go in the dungeon we're, I don't know if they're going to lock us in until we finish it you know what I mean mm -hmm. that one would probably make more sense Ailish out of my way that one would probably make a bit more sense for the game to actually lock us in. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if uh, 
if they're going to lock us. If they don't lock us in, then it, I might actually be able to finish getting his ultimate weapon before his boss fight. Somebody in your friends list is playing Destiny 2. Sure. Stuff like that makes me glad that we're actually just doing uh, game capture and not screen capture. <laughs> but then when an achievement pops up, it's like, oh man, I wish we were doing screen capture. <laughs> Stop blocking and just turn into goo! Freaking instant transmission, motherfuckers. Scarecrows? Really? Scarecrows! You can't resist my healing kiss. Ow, 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 Go away, you mean scarecrows. Oh, that's not skill ointment. Uh... Okay, there we go. That's skill ointment. That was some good squintment. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be going this way. I got turned around. I can't even blame the game on that one. I I just wasn't looking. The, the game has an arrow saying, this way, stupid, and I was, well, um, being stupid. Mm -hmm. That enemy's on fire! I think this technically counts as a ground-based attack. <laughs> but if it's fire you want... You will burn in the inferno! And I just walk right into the fireball. Well, Buki takes care of the last guy. See, yeah, there's an arrow with on the screen saying, this way, dumbass, and <laughs> I was just ignorifying. Hello? Uh -huh. Or oh, but Vigor. 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 Invigorate. Wait. No, wait, I went backwards. The, uh, the arrow pointed me in the wrong direction. I thought I was going the right way. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay, never mind. The game was being a dumbass. <laughs> oh, actually. If I recallinate. Correctly. Healing Slav can't carry any more. There we go. Aha! Climbing. It's climbing timing. I can take my claws into rock here because there's vegetation. Let's go. 
You see, by all accounts, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> They just wanted every character to have a certain solo skill. You know what's funny? Final Fantasy VII Remake and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth also kind of do a similar concept. Except you can't change who the quote-unquote... I mean, you can change who the lead of your party is, but it doesn't change who's moving about in the world when you're not in combat. Hey, look, I got a new Buki weapon. Huh. That I won't be using! <laughs> but, um... You know, the, the way that game, the way those games work is like, you have certain sections where the story will just be like, you're, you're just controlling this character now, and they'll have like certain one-off abilities that they can use in those instances. Mm -hmm. What's funny in regards to Rebirth, though, is that anytime that happens with Yuffie, because Yuffie had... A DLC, a standalone DLC, uh, what? Well, I guess it's standalone. She had a quote unquote standalone DLC, uh, side game thing called, uh, Intermission for Remake. Mm -hmm. She already had, like, she already had all of her gameplay systems as well as all of her, like, overworld, uh, type systems made for that game, so. They were just basically ported into Rebirth mm -hmm. during the times when Rebirth uh, requires that. Pew pew! Boom boom! It's splody splode time! You will burn! Get back, or I'll toast your soul. Toasty. of my servant Olivetes. Hear her song now, and know that she walks at your side. The age of unity has begun. When the time comes, you will be ready. Spirit strike received. Now she's all covered up. <laughs> Oh. Oliver Tess. She is deep within me. Ailish, the gods do not waste time on idle chatter. We are chosen. At the very least, its skin tightened leaves almost nothing to the imagination. <laughs> I mean, um... So I see you've gotten an... Uh, more clothes to cover you. Do you think I'll have less clothes to cover me if I get another? <laughs> that seems to be how everything works out. <laughs> we haven't even seen this thing yet. This what? This is a way shrine to the dragon. It is said the fall four totems, uh, the, the ultimate weapon of Lebanus. Uh -huh. That's that is for. Elko. Hmm. 
Wooden bridge. Right up the butt! The time it takes her to cast a blaze ball, the rod refills its ammo. He's dead! Well, that's one way to deal with them. By the way, she. Eilish just got a new skill strike, Spirit Flute. Only costs 100 points, so that's half the Spirit Strike bar instead of normal. Blesses the party by reviving and regenerating all characters. Wow. That fully heals everyone and gives back all SP and HP. Damn. Oh. So, whenever she... So... When she has at least half that bar full, she can get her SP and HP back. As well as the rest of the parties. Look. It's a boat. It's a boat! And we need to take that boat to get to Transcentia. Welcome to Transantia Airways. I'd like to fly to Transantia, please. It would be our pleasure to take you high into the clouds, wouldn't it, number two? Uh, indeed it would, number one. Oh, whoops, I did not mean to skip that. Oh, did I mention this is not just any boat? It's an airship! Oh ho! Meanwhile... The dudes. We are a long way from Illumina. Let's keep moving until we get to Transentia. It'll be great to see your homeland. But it is a pity that Ailish and Buki are not coming. I was beginning to enjoy a little female company. This is business, Tal, not pleasure. Now, Transentia is through the mountains to the north. Let's get going. Let's hear it for the boys! <laughs> wait, wasn't there a ladder? Yeah, no, wait, there's the ladder. Rocket Man! Rocket Man! <laughs> what have we here? Dragon Totem! Nice. <laughs> that always looks funny when he does that. <laughs> you know, they really try to make that look realistic. Sometimes the animation gets thrown off or won't line up right, but most of the time it's fine. No, no, no! Yeah. Backhand. There was nothing in those. I wasted my time! <laughs> do, do, 
do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Seriously, every time climb, you do climb, that, climb, I just climb, climb, climb. Every time you do that, do do do, it's like I urge to Zelda Rising. <laughs> I am a. It's dread. I'm getting a lot of these. Sheesh. Goodbye, goat man. Goodbye. Find and saves. Gotta do this now, or it might just crash when I'm recording. Mm -hmm. uh. Rivet point. Bam! Knocked him on his ass. Since you like to have regen cloud, or not cloud, since you like to have a regen effect, I'm going to do this. Oh, that's right, Tal's new sword has poison. I forgot about that. <laughs> In that case, you feel lucky, punk? Statistically, your chances are not good. I'm going to kill you in the face! Face has been killed. <laughs> Bring dragon totems here to exchange for gifts from Levinus. Four totems will unlock the ultimate weapon of Levinus. New quest. You have two totems to offer. Orb of Might. Orb of Vigor. Ah. A Medusa. Or a Corbin. Hmm. Toxic cloud. Eat rocket fuel. Well, then I'll do this then. That took care of a lot of them. Ow. Yep. Oh. Take on you. Stop buffing yourself! There we 
we go. Oh, wait. I thought you were dying. Yeah, that's what I thought. <sighs> Clockwork Road. <laughs> to take you high into the clouds, wouldn't it, number two? Indeed it would, number one. All aboard! Next stop is Transcendier, the city of steel. Okay, this time I didn't cut them off. <laughs> Last time, we didn't even get to see this thing take off. Because it cut immediately to Tal and Elko. Oh, yeah. Ever been served grog by a robot? Huh? Ah, my boy, you are in for a treat at the Rusty Cog Tavern. I don't know if I want anything from a place called the Rusty Cog. <laughs> I'm Asgarth of the Transentine Maintenance Department, and uh, I'm afraid that the elevator up the Transentier is temporarily closed. I don't suppose either of you two have any experience in engineering. What appears to be the problem? I only started this morning and the elevator is broken down already. These cogwheels need to be fitted into the water pump. <laughs> Received two cogwheels. Huh. New quest. Any luck fixing the elevator yet? Any luck fixing the elevator yet? You need to climb up the ladder and jump across to the machinery to fit the cogs. Before I do that, though, Tal, would you mind? Hmm. We have a block puzzle. side uh, I think I may have fucked this <laughs> Aha! Aha! In the bag! Wolf totem! Now, before I fitinate these cogs into the Mishan. Uh, let's see here. 
Ah, that's that's where the treasure chest is. Okay, I gotta refill my jet puke. Mm hmm. Fly over here. Climb the Lator. And Rocket Man. To open. <laughs> what in the heavens is this? It's a third dragon totem. Nice. The fourth one is gotten from a side quest in Transentia, but it requires me to go into the next dungeon to... Oh, both cogs go in this one spot, okay. Hey, thanks for fixing the elevator. You really saved my neck. All I have to do now is look useful until it breaks down again. I think I owe you a drink next time you're in the rusty cog. Greetings! My model number is XKB8. Did you know Spirit Nectar can be used to restore the health of some life forms? Soid worker. <laughs> Well, Tal, this is where it all started for me. Ah, smell that. A rare blend of fresh mountain air and engine oil. I tell you though, I wouldn't swap it for the world. How old were you when you left? Oh, in my late teens. Professor Hayton spotted my potential and before I knew it, I was working directly for the Queen. I was still very young. At that time, I thought I could do no wrong. Then there was the accident. Can't imagine how horrible it must have been to lose an arm. Not as painful as having a new one grafted on. It took months. If it wasn't for Tilly, I would have just given up. She has a heart of gold. Ah, yes. There are two women in my life. Lucica, with bags of gold paid for my arm. And Tilly. Whose heart of gold gives me the strength to live with it. As a man, I am deeply indebted. There's someone else who I owe a debt to, and you'll meet him today. Professor Hayton has a brilliant mind. Come on. Why you be hating, yo? <laughs> Professor Hayton. Why is he be hating? Transensia is a high seat is the high seat of technology. The university and its professors are known far and wide. Here life is made easier with the help of numerous robots and machines made for from precious transentium. <laughs> City level two. Greetings. I am Jacob, but my friends call me nuts because I'm always tinkering. I offer metal manipulations and powerful enchantments on weapons and armor. How can I help you? He's nuts! <laughs> Let me see what you got. Show me what you got. Thank you for your business. Mm -hmm.
Nat Stinger. You're coming with me, Nat Stinger. Greetings. My model number is XKV8. Did you know? Transentia University is funded almost entirely by Queen Lucica. Well, you looked a bit freaky there, but okay. What's this way? Greetings, my model number is XKV8. Did you know, mustard drinks improve both health and magical power in a single dose? Nothing. Ah, Reptifolo Hut. Ooh, hello. Treasure chest. What have we here? 500 florins! <laughs> That's what we have here! <laughs> Greetings! My idea is hard, and I am programmed to welcome you. I wish I could welcome you with more feeling, but unfortunately my heart is just not in it. <laughs> Your heart? I thought robots didn't have hearts. Hey, that's a fast calculation. I am an experimental model. I have my own special heart circuit that reproduces human-style emotions when it is correctly fitted, but... I hate this! I am afraid to say that I have given my heart away following an illogical and irrational moment with a robot guard in the Transcendine Research Center mines. I don't suppose you would get my heart circuit back for me. I just can't face the droid that loves me anymore. New quest. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Heart is an unusual name for a robot. I have a more numeric serial number, but most humans prefer a name to a number string. I can't remember if that's the quest that grants me the dragon totem, or if it's a different quest. Hmm. Welcome to Rusty Cloud. My name is Rusty, and I am programmed to welcome you. How can I serve you? Would you like to hydrate your body tissue, or shut down, or sleep? Shut down and uh, sleep. A room, please. A room is a comfortable and clean. Fully restored. These obsolete models are drowning their sorrows in cheap engine oil. Gross. <laughs> Better not disturb him. Who knows what a drunk robot will do? Oh, gosh. I ain't drunk. I drink this to stay sober. Fight my shiny metal ass. Oh wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> I came here with a simple goal. Kill all humanity. Greetings, I am your lift attendant. Which level would you like to go to? Level 3, University in Camos. Going up? Welcome to Camos. Elevator. I see that chest. You can't hide this from me. 
What have we here? 500 florins. Cool. Just in time for you to come to Camo's. Repflow hide. Nothing. Talk to me! <laughs> Fine. Be that way, then. Nat Stinger. Benarl Fur. Yo, talk back to me, Box, and you get the backhand! I got that fur out of Camo's stash. <laughs> This level university camo's camo storage. <laughs> Luster drink. Welcome to Camo's, where the faceless automation of modern life is relaxed by that personal touch. Oh. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's you. <laughs> what can you tell me about Transcentia? It's a soulless industrial pit, frequented by geeks who are too stingy to buy a new set of lab whites from one year to the next. They made a supercomputer called Kren. It's so super, in fact, that it's murdering my customer base. And that I don't like. <laughs> I'd like to shop. Well, okay. Let's break open the piggy bank with a battle axe. <laughs> uh, sure? <laughs> I want to have to sell some things if I went that Neutron blunderbuss. Though Camo doesn't exactly give the best prices for anything. <laughs> I might regret some of this. <laughs> oh, whoops. That chain sword will probably be the last thing I buy. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! I feel so happy! Well... At least he's... appreciative? That doesn't happen very often. Not many people in this city buy things from Camo. <laughs> But I'm constantly buying shit from him. <laughs> Greetings. Going down. Going down. Elevator going down. The blunderbuss I bought is basically like a shotgun. Blunderbuss bought. It. Well, you know that electrical wand that Eilish starts with that does, like, that spread? Uh-huh. It's Elko's version of that. Upgrades and enchantments are available right here, right now. Let me see what you got. I could give it... Oh, I do not have a... I don't have a lot of florins. <laughs> <sighs> I would like to give it that 30 plus power, though. Thank you for your business. 
I need Florence. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of broke the bank with a battle axe to get that. Yeah. Battle axe. That is one weird thing to say, but. Well, I'm supposed to go to the university, but. Let's go up to the observatory and collect some side quests before we end off this episode. Mm -hmm. Blue spider duct. Repfalo hide. What are you hiding, Repfalo? That's a thing for Buki to climb. Anti claw shell. Or aqua claw shell, not anti claw. Aqua claw. <laughs> Seizure warning. Oh, yeah. Why do we have miniature Oompa Loompas here? Yeah, <laughs> Oompa Loompas. But listen to them. Oh, gosh, they do sound like Oompa Loompas. By the way. <laughs> Yeah, of course, they're everywhere, aren't they? Transcendent technology. Hey, do you believe in alien life? I do. I am deeply interested in the possibilities of there being other life forms out there. I am a stargazer. That's neat, don't you think? Millie Lupa. Millie Lupa. Stargazing is a waste of time. You think so? It was my observational research that first pointed towards alien life coming from another world. So it can't be that useless, now can it? Okay, how, does your t how do you power your telescope? I power my telescope with the rare rock type Omnium. Maybe you could collect some for me. Robots use Omnium as their power source. When you put one out of service, bring me its Omnium, and I will pay you handsomely. Kadu. Have you noticed any change since in the sky lately? The sky has been getting darker at night. I've started seeing stars I couldn't make out before. I wonder if it's part of the weather cycle. Or something more sinister. Oh, goodbye. Loopa, doopa, doopa dee doo. That is a mer that is a map of the earth for you. <laughs> Mirth. Blech. That might be the quest that gets me the last dragon totem. Actually, there's a quest that gets me, like, a key or something where, like... And then Buki has to, like, climb up that and then go across there and use the key to get into a place. Hmm. to you while you're mining. What's in the chest? It is... Looks good! 
500 florins. Helco's good at finding those. <laughs> Apparently so. Out of my way, robot man. <laughs> Oh, what? Tal teleported. Or I guess he tal aported. tal aported. You're not clever at all, boo! <laughs> I want to go back to the weaponsmith now that I've got Florence to spend. Put them to the blunderbuss I just bought. Yeah. How can I help you? Let me see. <sighs> Let's see here. Yeah, I'll go with this. Ah, I'm just short of Bat Fang and the Spirit Bite. Dabble it! <laughs> Thank you for your business. Didn't shoot on Florence, I mean. I mean, I could go sell some more things to Camo. Wanna sell more things to Kamo? <laughs> oh wait. Research center and portal site. That's what I wanted. Mm -hmm. The research center is the next dungeon, but I can't go in there right now. Ooh, Lester Brew. That guy won't talk to me. Nat Stanger. Or Petfalo Hide. Greetings. My model number is XKV8. Did you know? Crystal energy can theoretically be used to open wormholes in time and space. Well, that would explain the portals. Mm -hmm. Lost or drink. Got Getaru, that's me. I am an expert in transdimensional travel. Transdimensional travel? Is it really possible? Well, I've never done it, but I know that if we could get the right power source, transdimensional travel would be a real possibility. Got get a route. Well, I. Did you? Did you? Got get a route. That's me. I am an expert in trans. Well, I've never done it, but I know that if we could get the right power source, transdimensional travel would be a real possibility. The G-Man here is all ready to take a break from working all the time. I got to get a vacation soon. Okay, that's what I kept... That's me. Do light spawn use transdimensional travel? Indeed, there are evidently many worlds out there that we know little about. Arcanites are capable of teleporting at a moment's notice. By studying these creatures, we may be able to learn their secrets. The G-Man here is all ready to take a break from working all... Okay, there. Let's see, I think this has a block puzzle for Tau. Hmm. Or not. Oh. No fur. Oh. 
Actually, there's like a whole lot of nothing up here. <laughs> whole lot of nothing. Banana puffin, puffin with a pocket full of nothing. Climb, Elko, climb! Climbing up. Is this going to be another chest of 500 florins? Looks good! 50! 50. 50. <laughs> well, it started with a 5. <sighs> Actually, that's just enough to get another thing for my blunder bus. Hmm. But I'm going to do some more in exploring. Arcanite Skull. Hello, I am Technician Shakespeare. I'm helping God get through research the supposed portal site they have unearthed. I must say, though, I disagree with their findings. How do you now? What well, don't you... Why is that never turned off? Because they use it as an alarm. Boop. Anyway, you don't believe in the portal system? No, I do not. I believe in nearly everything else but the wretched portal system. It's just old mumbo jumbo in my opinion. Still, I get paid for the work, so I shouldn't complain. Sneakum bokum. Oop it up! <laughs> Why do you disagree with the findings? Well, I believe in fact alone. So far, we have conducted hundreds of experiments on the portal site, and God Get True still insists that there is a way to unlock it. I think the idea of a cosmic key is a wild shot in the dark. Kamo here. <laughs> I could tell you that it's actually 100% real. That's how I keep my shops in business. <laughs> Some kind of magical interference prevents this portal from working. City level four. Okay, take me back to the weaponsmith. I've got money again. <laughs> Elko, how do you stand getting around this place? Seriously. This is one of the most inconvenient areas to get around in because you have to talk to the elevator. <laughs> how can I help? Let me... Okay, I've got enough for a bat fang. Na 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 bat fang. And I just need a spirit bite, which is more moony. Oh, I haven't made a safety save in a while. Might want to do that. Okay, onwards to the university. Also camos. <laughs> but mostly the university. Personally, I like the university. They gave us money and facilities. We didn't have to produce anything. <laughs> Hi there. 
I am studying anthropology. It's easier to say than spell, but I am becoming quite an authority on the subject. My name is Simmons, and I will answer your questions if I can. Do you know where Professor Heaton is? Heaton spends most of his time upstairs at the university. What do you know about anthropology, then? Here's a random fact for you. Glue spiders shoot a sticky web that can slow an enemy down. I already know that. Yeah. Mostly from a lot of experience. <laughs> oh, I know what this ladder leads to. Yeah. Definitely not doing that anytime soon. Greetings. My name is Brace, Dr. Brace, TSA of the Research and Development Office. My speciality is in flora and fauna. Pleased to meet you. Dr. Brace, TSA, take your shoes off. I hear there's been trouble at the research center. It is a dark day when you can't trust technology. What with the Kren system going crazy, the university had to close the doors of the research center as a safety measure. Yeah, it's a dark day when you can't trust technology. Games just randomly shutting off when they're not supposed to, right? <laughs> Are you a famous scientist? My painstaking research into panacea treatments has made me a giant of the scientific community. Ask me any question on any type of panacea. He's a brilliant scientist! What are Emerald Panacea? The Emerald Panacea will nullify, in a single shot, the effects of all known poisons. Sapphire Panacea? Sapphire Panacea is used to combat the effects of slowing. So, if you suddenly find yourself fighting at half speed, use a Sapphire Panacea. That's a shame, because information is power. Good day. Department of Bipedal Automatons. <laughs> Hargol fur. Wolf pedal. Yes, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Transentia, my friends. I am Keeble, research scientist and fellow of the university. What is the research center? Really, Elko should not be asking this, but... <laughs> yeah. It is one of my pet projects. The center is designed to find and conduct experiments on rare crystals and elements. It's run by the Kren system, a system which, despite its recent problems, worked perfectly well in testing. Despite the recent problems, it worked perfectly well in testing. That's what they all say. What do you know about crystals? I know that crystals may be powerful, but we are still very ignorant of how they actually work. Some of the work Illumina encourages us to carry out is frankly irresponsible without more considered research. Okay. The latest in transcendent technology. Oh god. Ah, you must be the new students. I have an exam here. See if you can answer all the questions. I'm not a freeloading student. <laughs> I'll take the exam if there's a prize. What do you mean? The Transentine University trained scientists will one day help all of humanity. Once they get past the party lifestyle, encouraged by the generous student discount, the Rusty Cog Tavern, that is. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll take the exam if there's a prize. A healthy and dexterous mind is a glittering prize indeed. But yes, there are side benefits. Okay then, I'll give it a try. Excellent. No conferring. Eyes down. And study the exam sheet. Wolves hunt in packs but have no leader. Fault. Anthropomorphs venerate a demigod called Mo, the great cat. True. <laughs> there are three different types of known Arcanites. I only know of two different types, so I'm going to say false. You've scraped through the exam and gained a passing mark, but I feel you have underachieved somewhat. Still, you deserve something for your efforts. Skill slab. Uh, me. Ah. Uh. Excellent. I have no leader. The smallest breed of Arcanites have magical power. I thought it was the larger. I'm not sure what a ward. You'll scrape through the exam. Eh. I might need to study more. <laughs> Questions are also randomized. Elko, how is my star pupil? Come to collect the crystal? Ah, Professor Darbinger. Eilish, Buki, what are you doing here? Professor! U moet zich schamen op uw leeftijd. What? Willkommen. What? We came for the crystal. The professor here has been helping us with our inquiries. It seems the crystal has affected the machines in the complex, and they have become autonomous. Wait, what machines? Professor, what's going on? We have been using some of your old techniques, Elko. Drawing power from crystals and using it as the driving force behind an entirely automated complex. We called it the Kren system. Huh? You see, the score was controlled entirely by one central unit. And that unit was powered by the magic of the Transentine crystal. Now then, miss. Let's not cloud the issue with words like magic. Kren, the robot, was designed to scan and map the geology of an area. It produces images of possible crystal deposits. The thing is, once we connected the crystal as a power supply, Kren began to show an entirely new set of data. What sort of data? Where do you two fit in with this? Look! The geography looks familiar, but we know there are no crystals along the coastline of Haskelia. That's when it hit me. This data is not referring to Haskelia at all. This scan is of another world entirely. One that mirrors ours. We told Professor Hayden about how the Shadani crystal sent us to the realm of shadows. And he thinks there may be a way to use the portal system to find more crystals for your machine. We are going into the complex to try and get a crystal from Kren. The professor insisted that we waited for you two, though. Well, at least he did one thing right. My dear professor, I, I warned you about this long ago. Before you know it, you'll have a renegade hardware replicating itself without human help. <laughs> I'm afraid that's already happened. Kren has locked the doors of the CPU and no one dares venture inside the complex. I can open the research center doors for you, however. So much for the simple task of collection, then. Now we have to snatch the crystal from the hands of a deranged robot. Pleased to see me, then. <laughs> I'm always pleased to see you. But I'm not looking forward to explaining this to your mother.
There's our next dungeon. Good luck in there. When you come out with the pistol, we can conduct a few experiments of our own, and I guarantee you another even more powerful crystal, Elko. I don't need a crystal Elko. Oh, I mean, um... <sighs> I'm gonna go back to the Rusty Cog Inn because Eilish is... almost dead. <laughs> And then I'll save in front of the thingy and... Oh wait, the Rusty Cog is, uh... This way. <laughs> <laughs> Like that classic trope of running in one direction and then running back like, it's this way! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Whoopsie! Welcome to the Rusty Cog. A room's a comfortable... Comfortable and dirty as shit. Wait, what? <laughs> Also here, there's a robot I can fight, but I'm not going to do that now. <laughs> it's got a wolf totem for Tau. Just saying this right now, yes, I am aware that I can get Tau's last wolf totem and get his ultimate weapon if I fight said robot. No, I do not want to do that. It's a very hard fight, and I... The game is going to give me a lot more weapons for Tal that I would actually like to use. <laughs> okay, next episode. The second dungeon. Cool. How long has this recording been going on? Two hours and twenty minutes. Uh, some of that's getting cut because of the freaking... 